Hey, what's going on, guys? Sober Kids of Darkness here. Now, don't mind the hair. I just got out of a shower. But, um, never mind that. Um, I do, I, um, wanted to cover this. This was posted a couple days ago. And it involves the Yu Gi Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions film. I've talked about this the pre in the in a previous um, in a previous coverage where, where it pretty much involves the first teaser. Now we have the second teaser already out, and um, and I was actually paying attention to the comments from the first one. Um, for the if this was gonna get an English dub, four kids or I mean uh, Konami or 4K Media as the as they now call it. Um, they might. Yeah, there's probably gonna be changes, but I hope there. I just hope there is. I'll go. Mo I'll go more into detail after. Um, after I cover this, I'm going a bit off track. I do apologize. Um, but anyways, it involves the new te There's a new tease right there, and there's a and it gives a bit more coverage right here, including events, including tickets and all that other stuff. So, uh, this uh, this article is of course from Crunchyroll. Um, so thank you Crunchyroll for the for the article. Link in the description below as usual. All new feature film tells the story up tells the after story of the original series. The official websites for the upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side Dimensions film upda today updated with the previously reported new main visual and posted a 70 second teaser introducing a new character from the film, Aigami. The Satoshi Kuwahara directed film will be released in Japan on April 23, 2016. Okay, so we're not that far we're not that far off from the Japan release date. I can imagine, like, after the release, after it releases, I can imagine all the spoilers that it's going to give for everywhere else besides Japan. So, for us here in America, for you, for any of you guys watching from, from uh, Europe, Australia, other parts of Asia, South America, pretty much everywhere, pretty much everywhere besides Japan, you know. <laughs> but what can you do? Spoiler. When it comes to spoilers, um, it happens. It just happens. <laughs> Um, the original manga creator, Kazuki Takahashi, serves as executive producer and provides the original character designs and screenplay. 200,000 limited advance tickets will for, with the card of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon? Um, maybe it'll be featured, maybe it'll be shown in the, in the teaser, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to take a look and see. Uh, are available at Japan theater, Japanese theaters from today. December 12th, then the December 12th, then the second edition of tickets will fall on March 5th, 2016. And of course, it shows the uh, new teaser just right here. Now, I've not seen anything of the sorts from this. From this. I've not seen, this is a completely blind reaction to the trailer. So, let's get into it. So, let's get into this right now. There's a ten. The very end of the ユーギ。再び日常の暮らしを取り戻したユーギたちの前に現れる謎の少年。Because Side of Dimensions. 2016年4月23日公開。映画を見に来た諸君には週替わりで劇場版限定カードをやるぞ。劇場版限定カード付き前売り券絶賛発売中だ。Okay, oh, oh, so that's actually pretty cool. We more loaded edition cards, including the blue eyes alternative white dragon. Um, wow, I'm speechless. This is just so amazing. Um, uh, Kenjiro Tsuda, Kaiba, Se voice of Seto Kaiba, and the voice recording session. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> New poster visual. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hmm, <laughs> I I really can't wait for this movie. I don't. I just really can't wait. And of course, the first teaser. There's the cast. I think we already pretty much... Yeah, it's just information we already know. But yeah, but yeah this is just beautiful. Like, seriously. Um, 
I really have no words for this, but moving, but from what I meant, from what I meant from the from the previous video is that like, um, of course there'll probably be changes, but I hope there isn't a whole lot. I mean, like if you, I mean, let me take an example for this. Um, for those of you that seen, I'm not sure how many of you guys seen the uh, an old anime. Well, not that old. It's it's like 12 years old. Uh, it's an anime called Zatch Bell, and the dub of it, probably one of those. Um, to me, probably one of the best um, kids anime dubs out there. What, not the best, but one of them. Well, some people can refer. But the main reason I say this is because um, Viz Media, the way they handled Zatch Bell in the American version, they did, they did, they mainly stayed true to the ja to the Japanese version most of the time. Well, of course, they had to censor out like Zatch being completely naked to give him underwear or. Um, uh, what was another one? I mean, they mainly, plus, uh, they didn't do a whole lot of dialogue changes, like, I mean, like, uh, what four kids did, like, they didn't do a whole lot of dialogue changes, they didn't skip episodes, they didn't, um, pretty much anything you can think, almost anything you can think of with four kids, like, um, they hardly, they really stay true to the Japanese, they keep the text, they keep, they put the, they tend to put things in, tra in from Japanese to English translation, and just that, like, why can't you... I'm just wondering. I hope the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie is like this. I'm hoping it will be like this. Like like how Zatch, like how Zatch Bell was has was handled in... Um, like how Viz Media handled Zatch Bell from many years ago. If it was like that type of censoring, like, I mean, like with still some censorship, but was kept true to the Japanese, then I'd be fine with it. But, hell, who knows? Plus, um... I actually went to look. Someone actually told me that Dan Green, what Dan Green actually retired, ever actually retired from voice. I think it was from acting in general, or voice acting. I'm not completely sure, but I actually, I actually wanted to look up this to make sure. And I've seen some of his. Strangely enough, I did see some of his more recent works. I believe one of them recently was from 2014. Don't quote me on this. I actually, I was actually looking this up on. I think it was on BehindTheVoiceActors.com or something. I actually don't remember, but. He did work on a couple of voice roles, even after, um, even after a little crucial thing that happened. I'm not gonna say what it is. I I want to I want to expect um, Dan Green's privacy and and he deserves his utmost. And I have utmost respect. I have a major respect for this guy for Dan Green. But if they are gonna replace him, I will be a bit sad about it. But what can you do? Um, I'm, but I'm. Aside from that, maybe we'll see what happens in the American version, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you're hyped for this. Let me know, um, let me know what you guys think about my opinion. If they, if, um, if they should do, take us, take the Zatch Bell, the Zatch Bell, wait, Zatch Bell approach to, um, to this movie, but if you have seen Zatch Bell, of course, um, but yeah, I just really can't believe this movie. I'm pretty excited, but anyway, I, I, I guess I'll leave it with that. <laughs> Sorry about the continuous stutters. But anyways, guys, as usual, I will see you guys next video. Jamata!